Hey guys, Carrie here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming the highly requested video of what is in my lash cabinet, what I use, and how I store everything. So everything I mention will be linked in the description box below. I purchase a lot of stuff from Amazon and of course from my favorite brands. So take a seat and let's get started. <music> off is this amazing lash cabinet. Now, I purchased this on Amazon about a year ago. It does come with wheels, but I decided to take mine off just so it could be stationary and not move. But I absolutely love it. It is very comparable to the drawers that you find at Ikea, except that I found that they were a better size and dimension for what I wanted. So it comes with... comes with seven drawers, they're pretty deep and fairly long and they can store quite a bit of supplies. So that's why I chose this rather than other setups. I also like that everything is contained and covered. A lot of people love to have their stuff stored in trolleys or open carts and I found that that can get kind of messy and things can fall out and it just doesn't look very professional. So I opted for something where the majority of my supplies could be well hidden. So here at the top, I love it because it's nice and spacious that I'm able to have a few things displayed, but then when I am working on a client, I have enough room to put all of my supplies so that it's easy to get to. I try not to have a lot of things displayed, again, because I don't like it to look cluttered, but these are the things I felt could be on my desk and still look professional. First of all, I always have hand sanitizer ready. You always should, because you should always be cleaning your hands every time you're working with your clients. Now, I wanted to have something that looked really fashionable, so I transferred my hand sanitizer into this glass container. And I thought it looked really pretty. So if this is something you'd like to do, just make sure that you are buying a glass container because the ingredients in hand sanitizer will break down and almost kind of eat or melt a plastic container. So just make sure that if you want to do something like this, you always get a glass container. Secondly, I have this cute little plant here. Obviously it's fake because I don't have a lot of sunlight in this room. And I just purchased these from Amazon, the little vase here, and then the fake plant I purchased from Hobby Lobby. Right here we have my hydrometer. This helps me to see the humidity and the temperature in my room, which is something that you always want to be aware of as you're working, just in case things like your adhesive aren't working properly, you can look over and see why. Over here I have my Lab Genius. Now this is a little extra thing you don't necessarily need, but I found that it really helps mix up my adhesive perfectly and therefore helps my adhesive work better. So I absolutely love this and I keep it up here because I still think it looks pretty nice. Now over here is my Lash Box from Lash Makers. This is actually a, a tile storage setup. Now I just purchased this a couple weeks ago in IBS Las Vegas and I'm going to be transferring all my tiles into this. Um, but for now, I will show you my other setup, which is something that most slash artists probably could do. As although this is beautiful, it is a little expensive. So now the top drawer. So this is where I like to keep all of my lash supplies, just so they're right at my fingertips and easy to access during the appointment. First, we have our cleansing brushes. You can find them on Amazon. They're usually called lip stick or lip gloss applicators. And that's what I like to use to cleanse the lashes. We then of course have the mascara brush. I have my two different kinds of tape, one for pulling back the lids, others to taping down the lashes. And I bought this contain this lash dispenser um, from Bella Lash. And again, that will be listed. And I really like it. It just keeps your tape all together. I have my Lash Affair Love Shack, and this is where I keep all of my adhesive. I have a couple in there right now that I'm test trying, but you can get this at Lash Affair. I have my bottle of distilled water, and this is what I use to rinse, wash, or prep the lashes. Back here, I have my iPads. Now, I also bought these on Amazon, and they're honestly some of the best I've ever used. I don't think you need to spend a lot of money on, a, on an iPad. You can find some really good ones on Amazon. Back here, I have some spare mints, some cream, eyelash remover, some markers that I use to lash map, a lash mirror to check my work, 
some sticky dots, and a credit card reader. All of the things that I usually need to grab right away, I keep in the top drawer. All right, now we're into the second drawer, and this is where I keep my lash tiles. Now, I mentioned before that I am now going to be using my lash box tiles setup, but this is what I have been doing for many years. So, these tiles I just purchased at, I think, Home Depot, and they were maybe 50 cents, maybe less, actually. And then this container that I place it in obviously keeps it clean, dust-free. This is a photo album container where you can store photos and you can purchase this on Amazon or most craft stores. So this is how I've been keeping my tiles clean and they're nice because you can stack them on top of each other and they won't get squished. I also have this fan. This is the fan that I use after washing, after applying lashes, just to dry the lashes or to blow away fumes. And again, that was an Amazon purchase. I have a mirror that I like to hand my clients after the service is done. I have my Lash Affair Nano Mister, and I keep that in the second drawer again. It's just something I need to get to right away. I also have two methods in which I store my tweezers. Now, because I have quite a few, I will store them in my EVL lashes container um, and then the ones that I use more often I keep also in one of these photo containers. Just after they're um, clean and sterilized I keep them in this clean container and then I can grab them as I need. The last thing I have in the second drawer is this little container. Now this is a container you can find at a craft store or Amazon. It's initially used for beads or small items like that, but I actually use it for my pre-mades, um, the pre-mades that I make myself. So I have everything listed here, and whenever I have time, I'll make some and I store them in this container. Now the third drawer. This is where I hold all of my lash trays. Now as you can see, I have mostly EBL lashes and J Brown Beauty. They happen to be some of my favorite that I'm using currently. So. And sorry, I forgot to mention, but these awesome little acrylic cases that I've actually been using in all of my drawers to store things, I bought at the container store. You can buy similar ones though on Amazon. But I have all the lashes that I use right out of hand and they're all labeled. Back here I have some other lashes that um, I was sent or I purchased from other brands that I will be reviewing, so look out for that. Now the fourth drawer. So I do have an apprentice, it's actually my older sister and this is where she has her lash set up. She doesn't take many clients, so she can have all of her things fit into one drawer. Right now, she's just doing classic lashes, so we have the EBL lashes in these clear containers, her lash tiles in these photo cases, and then her tweezers in an EBL case. So she has all of her stuff right here. All right, now the fifth drawer is where I keep all of my waxing supplies. Yes, I offer facial waxing, along with eyelashes. I also offer eyelash and eyebrow tinting as well. But this drawer, we have these clear containers and then we have my various sizes of waxing sticks. So we have the small ones that I use for eyebrows. And then back here we have larger sticks for larger facial areas and medium ones for smaller areas or for nose waxing. I also have my waxing strips. And then back here we have all of my tools. So we have tweezers and scissors and eyebrow pencils that I use to fill in the brows if I need to. And then some products like some baby powder and wax remover for the skin as well. In the sixth drawer we have more stuff that I use for waxing, eyelash and eyebrow tinting. So I have some Q-tips I use when I need to clean up the tint. I have some gloves back here to keep my hands clean and all of my tinting supplies so various colors the developer tint remover and some gauze and that's all that I use for my eyelash and eyebrow tinting now the very last drawer I just use this more for storage I have some wubbies down here which wubbies are like very large paper towels you can use to place under your clients head to keep it sanitary and clean I'll also use them to put my supplies on, on top of the lash cabinet. I'll also use them to maybe place product next to the client if I need it close to them. They're just an all around really great sanitary way um, to perform your services. I also have just some extra tape, some extra lash wands, 
some scissors that I use to cut my waxing strips, and a lighter for whenever I like to have candles in the room. So we've shown the drawers and now I have this basket that I keep to the side. I usually have a lot more towels in here, but this is where I keep my clean towels that I like to place under the client's head or if ever I needed to place them on top of the forehead. I keep a basket of clean towels right next to my cabinet on the side. Okay guys, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the products that I used or other ways to store your products, leave those comments down below and I'd love to help you out. If you'd love to see my whole room tour, go ahead and click on the video right here. And remember, everything that I use will be in the description box below. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.